feel any sense of octagon jitters today? Oh, a lot. Uh, There's a whole different feeling. I walked out of there, and uh, right when my music came on, I had this weird energy that went through my whole body. Oops, sorry. My whole body went out my head. I was just like, oh, my God, this is, this is the real deal. I'm in the UFC. Definitely a lot different feeling, but uh, I had to use it. Well, certainly having your brother as a champion has got to help you. Is there any specific words he gave you in terms of advice in approaching your first fight? Go out there and watch out for the bum rush. Um, just be smart, be a technical fighter, and be a star. Yeah. Do you feel like you did that tonight? Um, you know, I was a little hesitant um, with my stand-up. I was trying to set up my head kick, and uh, Will knows that I stand up, so you know he did an excellent job defending. Uh, took me down. I didn't expect that. He's a stand-up fighter himself, and uh, he came came in with a takedown, which was a lot different. So um, I had to go out there and react with some submissions, and I just tried to be a full mixed martial artist out there. Were you a little worried when he took you down? Because you did get about three of them there in that first round. What was going through your head as you were getting taken down there? Yeah, I was upset. You know, I was I, I kept letting him get deep enough to hit that angle, and he took me down. Uh, I was on my back trying to be active on my guard, which you know, which is dangerous in the UFC. Uh, if you're on the on the ground, you're usually losing. But I stayed active, and I tried to go for a submission every time I had the chance. Um, pulled out that W. Was it strange for you being that you had to take a short notice opponent when you had been preparing for Von Lee, and then it ended up being Will Camposano? Yeah, it was a lot different. Uh, Will's, uh, you know, a sh I think more of aggressive fighter. He comes forward, tries to knock you out. Or Von Lee, he's a uh, very f uh, fast. He uh, he's a southpaw fighter as well. So Von Lee. So I was, uh, you know, I was training for a southpaw the whole time, and I ended up being an orthodox fighter, which is a little bit different. But uh, I had to go out there and react. That's the name of the game. You mentioned uh, the fighting off your back a lot, going for a lot of submissions off your back. When you're standing there waiting to hear the decision, was there any doubt that it might go your way? Yeah, I mean, I was a little doubtful. You know, um, he took me down a lot. But, uh, you know, I went out there, and uh, I feel like I was more active than the guy. You know, he, he held me down and uh, didn't do much for him on top. You know, a little bit of ground upon here and there. But I was always on my back trying to go for a submission or trying to stand up. And I felt like I did what it took to pull up the W. We saw at some points in the fight, like after the second round, he kind of just walked over and sat down at one point uh, against the cage, and not really in his corner. It seemed like he was kind of fading a little bit. Did you notice that? Were you thinking about how to capitalize on that? Because it seemed like you were, you know, losing a little bit of steam there late too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was trying to capitalize on it, um, but uh, you know, that's the thing. If you if you think the guy's tired, and you know, he, he might throw out something crazy and knock you out, so you don't want to go and then rush with uh, you know the intention of trying to knock him out. That's when people usually get knocked out. You know, when you go in there and you're like, oh, this this guy's finished, but then he comes with. A a big bomb and I'm sleeping. I don't want that. So, you know, I try to be the smart way about it and just try to pick them apart. You mentioned the kind of adrenaline rush of the first UFC fight. What's it like now that it's over and it's done and you got the win? Uh, I'm going to have this uh, rush with me for probably 24 hours. I'm going to stay up this whole night. By the time I get in the plane tomorrow, I'm going to be knocked out for like a day and a half. You fought most of your career here at uh, Flyweight and now you're at Bantam. Your plan is to stay at Bantam weight with the UFC? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to stay at Bantam weight. I'm, uh, Flyweight's a hard weight cut for me. I feel like I drained myself too much. And I'm only 20 years old. I'm, I'm growing, and I'm not, I'm not growing this way, unfortunately. I'm growing this way, so which, you know, sucks. But uh, you know, I feel like I'm going to grow into the 135 division. I heard you got a thing for Oreos. Are you planning to lay off those now? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I had a thing for them. You know, I had a huge thing for them, and uh, I had to let them go. They're, me, and, me and them uh, don't want to have a relationship anymore, so. After your brother won the title, he went to visit your late father and took him the belt, tweeted this great picture of that. I know that's an emotional an emotional subject, but I'm just curious about your relationship with your dad and you know, still now do you go visit him? Do you go ask him for some guidance before a fight? Do you will you go visit him, you know, when you get back home? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, it's been ten years that he passed away, November twelfth, the day I came out here. It was really tough. Um, you know, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go talk I talk to him every night, you know. I, whenever time I get a chance I try to talk to my father and I still try to keep a relationship with him even though he's uh, no, not here. Absolutely, I can understand that. Now, it seems like you've got quite a crew following you around. How has this been? Obviously, you know, it's your first fight in the UFC, but with your brother being the champion, there's a lot of, you know, buzz around you and expectation. So how has this been this week for you dealing with all this extra stuff? Uh, it's a lot different. You know, I'm not used to having cameras everywhere. Um, I mean, I'm not even used to this. I'm trying to keep it cool. But, uh, you know, um, it, it was a lot different. Uh, they expect me to be, you know, just like my brother. And this fight, I try to break out of that, I try to create my own name. I'm trying to get out of his shadow. Which, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna get out of it. We're brothers, and I like that competition that we have. And, uh, you know, ho hopefully I could be a great mixed martial artist just like my brother. Okay, time for one more, guys. Uh, how soon do you want to get back into it? Uh, as far as 2014, how many fights do you see yourself uh, having in 2014? Um, I want to be like Cerrone, man. I want to I wanna fight as much as I can. You know, Donald fights a lot, and that's, that's where I want to be. Uh, every time I get the chance to fight, uh, I want to become the best mixed martial artist at my weight division. I'm only 20 years old, got great expectations, and uh, I could f live out those expectations. I feel like I have what it takes, and I have the right mindset. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great job.